right guys, what I want to talk about on that generator, I'm just gonna let it run out of gas. You can see my 2006 Dodge Ram. Anyway, what I want to talk about on that generator was basically the guy said he couldn't get it started. All right, he said he'd squirt gas and it would start and then otherwise it wouldn't start. So basically, I took the carburetor part. It's one of those Chinese generators that you see at the dollar stores and you know pain in the butt it ended up being the uh the fuel solenoid that's underneath the carburetor on these engines what happens is when you shut off the engine it shuts off power to that solenoid and it kills the engine but this one wasn't running it wasn't getting any fuel because of that so i um looked at it and it ended up it wasn't any good so I clipped off the uh, plunger going into the carburetor so it would get fuel and then once I got it started as you saw on the uh, meter I always put a meter on my generators when I fix them it's only putting out about 77 volts and uh, that's not good so it probably needs an automatic voltage regulator who knows what else the actual kill switch isn't working so there's a few things that have to be done to this now I'll be honest those generators, those cheap Chinese generators that you find all over the place, are going for about three, four hundred bucks. So I'm gonna tell the guy, you wanna spend two, three hundred dollars on a repair for something that you could buy brand new for three hundred bucks, or just go out and spend five, six hundred bucks and buy a name brand like a Generac or, or something like that, you know? And uh, at this point, to me, as a small engine mechanic, I don't wanna put any more of my time into it it's a waste of my time and his money so at this point you know i told him i don't think you should fix it the one in back of it that you see i'm going to show you in a second when this engine stops that was a simple one all right it stopped you know i couldn't shut it off because it's got a vacuum operated choke so you can't choke it and uh the kill switch doesn't work so anyway cheap chinese garbage not worth fixing it was only putting out 70 something volts so that's a, a gimme this one here, home light Tecumseh generator, 4,400 watt. You can see it's got the low oil level sensor in there. First thing you do on a generator, okay, if they say it's not running or it's not getting spark or whatever, pull off that low oil, well, check the oil first, okay? Top it off, make sure there's oil in there and then pull off that wire that goes to the oil sensor. Because the minute I pulled off that wire, that sucker started on the first pull. So it was low, a little bit low on oil, maybe just enough to get that switch uh, operating. So once I put the oil in it and I put the switch back together, the thing runs perfect. So let me uh, show you this one. He thought it was the... Um... All right, we're back. This camera's crazy. All right, got the choke on. Let me give it a pull. This one's a different story. It's running the right number of hertz, 59, 60 hertz. So it's running the right number of hertz. But the voltage is a little high, about 130. Should be no more than about 120, 125. So the problem is if I drop the hertz, the cycles per second or the RPM below 3600, which is 60 cycles a second, it's gonna screw up the frequency. And when you do 
low frequency, a lot of times you'll start heating up appliances and burning them out. The 60 hertz is important. So I'll try and go a little bit with it and see what happens. I'll get back to you. adjuster right there there's a governor adjuster knob I got it down to about 124 125 volts at about 57 58 Hertz that's a good one it's a good medium I, you know 130 135 to me was a little too high 120 125 that that's fine so I'm gonna keep it there but uh you know like I said 120 is usually what things are rated for plus or minus five I don't think it's too bad but the hertz, you don't want the hertz to go way down to 40s and low 50s. So I wanted to raise the hertz to get back up close to 60. So mission accomplished on that. Not a hard thing to do. So, but I recommend getting a tester, making sure, you know, instead of having a tachometer, you can actually just test the frequency. It's the same thing. Hertz is cycles a second. So 3,600 revs per minute is 60 cycles a second. So. The one I have is by Kill A Watt P3. It's called. You get it on Amazon. You know, not too pricey. Maybe I think 30 bucks. But good tool tool to have if you're working on generators. All right, guys, that's it for now. Talk to you later.